I think this play is a really good example of the things Trevor Lawrence is good at and the things Trevor Lawrence is bad at. An area where he is really special is his pocket presence. 42 is going to come on a blitz here, and he could not be calmer letting his running back. He's not watching him. He's not taking his eyes off downfield. He's not checking up. He has faith in his running back. He rewards him. He's totally calm as the splitzer comes at him. All right. Then his left tackle gets beat. And he is not even, I don't know how he does this. He's not even looking at the edge rusher here. But as soon as he's in danger, he senses that and rolls out. Like, how could he know? He has spider sense or something. I don't, I don't get it. Then he rolls out. All right, he finds some space, resets his feet, and he's in a good position to throw again. It's wonderful pocket presence. Could not be better. And then he makes the dumbass decision to throw this late into an impossible window, and it should have been picked off. I said this before the draft, but Trevor Lawrence has a little bit of Carson Wentz in him. He has a little bit of Wentz in him, and I feel like as a rookie in this situation, he's going to throw a lot of picks to begin his career, because he does try to play hero ball, and he is aggressive. Same deal here. It's like, Trevor, this isn't going to work, man. This dude is not open. That guy's open. He's very open. But he wants the big play. And it's going to result in bad... <laughs> it's going to result in some really bad moments in the regular season. It is. However, I think it's going to work out for him in the long run. And when I say he reminds me of Wentz, he could very well be 2017 Wentz all the time. You know, like, prime Wentz is not a bad person to be. And Trevor Lawrence might be that. And he might make some dumb decisions, and he might have some, like, far stupid throws. But the dude has accuracy, poise, arm strength, athleticism. He's smart. He calls his protection. Like, it's just some—he has so much talent that he tries, he tries to do too much. And eventually, hopefully, as he learns through trial by combat here, all the bad plays kind of get burned out of him, and he learns. And what you're left with is a guy who is— willing to create for an offense instead of just a check down game manager because that's the difference that's the difference between good and great guys